Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing superbly great. So let's continue with our RTP discussion for December 21, CA Intermediate. Before we start, what you have to do is you have to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. Sir, why you need to subscribe it? Because there is a lots and lots of lots of useful content for you people, right? Not just the notifications and all that. What you are getting is the quality content. Quality content means you are getting the full course lectures of cost accounting, financial management and economics for finance. Costing is available in Hindi and currently the English batch is also going on. So you're getting a whole lot of content. So at least what you can do is you can just subscribe to the channel. <coughs> right? And do like the videos because that serve as a motivation for all of us that yes we should keep on providing such content that is absolutely free of cost right and always one thing i always say uh, to my students that if you want to gain something if you want the bigger rewards in the life you always have to invest something right yes i have been providing lots and lots of content free of cost the whole courses are there for free of cost but yes my books are paid lot of people have questioned also that how is it possible that you are providing everything free of cost that how you are able to run your uh, home and uh, family right my simple question is that whatever i can do i have been doing it right and it is not like that i am not having food every day i'm having three meals every day i'm running my family very nice right yes the few things i have also kept it paid few of the best courses i have kept it paid right like the ICI SM course that is currently available in Hindi we are working on the English version also right so our handbooks are paid very well written handbooks very useful for you people so it is up to you that how you want to see that advantage in the things right that is where the difference is uh, the one who is scoring 50 marks and the one who is scoring 90 marks the difference is in the mindset how you treat your mindset that if I'm going to buy some course or buy some handbook, whether it is a cost for me or uh, an investment, the one who is spending 90, uh, who is scoring 90 marks, he thinks it as an future investment, right? And one who is scoring 40, 50 marks, he thinks it is a cost, it is useless thing. Why should I buy it? So that is where the difference lies. Okay, so let's continue with our discussion on RTP December 2021 series. And the question is from the batch costing. Now, if we talk about the batch costing, normally uh, a question from batch costing will come for approximately and approximately five marks, right? Normally, what we have been getting is a question on batch costing for five marks, right? And most of the times, you will be getting a question on economic batch quantity. Uske ilawa koi question banta bhi nahi hai, sir. Agar batch quantity, batch ki baat kare, to ya to fir hai ki cost sheet puchi jayegi. Right, cost sheet or batch ko combine kiya jayega. Agar specifically batch costing se question aana hai, to that has to be the economic batch quantity, right? Or yehi question unhon ne yahan par puchha hum se. Thik hai ji? To padte hain question ko fada fada se solve karte hain. Bahut hi ek chota sa question hai, lekin choti choti chizhe hain jahan par aap log galtiyan karte ho, right? That is why these courses, these lectures are important. मैंने पहले भी बताया था कि जो मैंने ICISM सीरीज की ना उसमें भी एक स्पेशल इसी चीज पे फोकस रखा कि कहां पर आप लोग गलती कर सकते हो और कैसे मैंने आपको बताना है कि आप अवॉइड करो इसीलिए वो कोर्स जो है वो बहुत बच्चे लाइक करते हैं मेरे पास बहुत सारे कमेंट्स हैं बच्चे कहते हैं सर दिस इज द बेस्ट थिंग एक्सक्लूसिवली ICI स्टडी मैट पे कोर्स है और इस चीज पे मैंने स्पेशल फोकस दिया कि कहां पर आप लोग गलती करते हो बिकॉज़ आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स कमिटिंग द वेरियस मिस्टेक्स राइट तो आई हैव फोकस्ड ऑन दैट थिंग दैट वेयर यू पीपल कैन कमिट द मिस्टेक्स एंड हाउ टू अवॉइड इट इन द एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन दैट कोर्स लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन रोल ऑन लिमिटेड इज कमिटेड टू सप्लाई 96800 बियरिंग्स पर एनम राइट सो दिस इज माय एनुअल रिक्वायरमेंट दिस बिकम्स my annual requirement to racing limited on the steady basis it is estimated that it cost 25 pesa as inventory carrying cost per bearing per month per bearing per month right and the setup cost per run of bearing manufacturer is 588 compute what would be the optimum run size for bearing manufacturer 
right so is talking about the economic batch quantity that you have to calculate optimum run size sir very simple concept under root of 2 into annual requirement that is considered as d s is the setup cost this is my annual requirement this is my setup cost and this is my carrying cost carrying cost per unit carrying cost per unit per annum now you can see i have highlighted something why why have i highlighted this thing sir inventory carrying cost per bearing per month i have highlighted per month because this is the area where you people are expected to commit a mistake why the reason of committing a mistake is that we do not read the question carefully in the examination what is the mistake c what i have written c is carrying cost per unit per annum that is what you require is the carrying cost for one unit but the annual carrying cost right what you are given is 25 paisa that is for per bearing that is per unit that is fine but it is given as per month not annual that means you will have to convert it into annual and if you see the solution that is why they have multiplied it with 12 clear <clears throat> now in the examination what you people obviously i understand there is an examination pressure what you people will do is 96800 multiplied by 588 divided by 0.25 right that's it this is uh, this is what most of you will do in the examination because of pressure because of not reading the question carefully whatever lack of practice everything contributes to it there is no one reason for it right so you have to be very careful while reading the question specifically when you have a question on economic order quantity or economic batch quantity this is one area where institute has been always tricking you people the carrying cost they will give you per month because they know that you will not read the question carefully and convert it into annual you will take the carrying cost as given in the question clear this is one area where institute has been tricking and institute will keep on checking whether you uh, are clear with this thing or not kya aap logo ke mind mein wo mindset hai ki ha hum logo ko question is tarah se padhna hai so be careful while reading the economic order quantity and economic batch quantity questions right be uh, read carefully whether the carrying cost is per month per annum semi quarter uh, uh, semi annually or quarterly whatever the information is given you have to act accordingly right now so with this the first part is done very simple come to the second part assuming that a company has a policy of manufacturing 8800 bearings per run now he says calculate how much extra cost the company would be incurring as compared to the optimum run suggested above now he says if the company doesn't want to uh, make a batch of 6160 bearings instead of that the company wants to make a batch of 8800 bearings then you have to compare the cost that whether in which case the cost will be more right how much of extra cost the company will have to incur or company will be saving cost if they go by the ebq right so in that analysis you have to see the two cost basically whenever we are talking about this analysis right you will be looking at two cost one is the setup cost right total setup cost basically i can say and the second thing is total carrying cost so these are the two things that we'll be looking at total setup cost and total carrying cost isn't it clear sir so this is what they have calculated the total cost of maintaining the inventories when the production run size is 6160 that is ebq and 8800 bearings as the company wants to do it what is total cost it is the sum total of total setup cost and the total carrying cost so they have made this table when the run size is 6160 uh, bearings and 8800 bearings total setup cost Tot for total setup cost the first step is to calculate the number of setups right you have to calculate the number of setups number of setups will be how they are going to be calculated 9600 that is the annual requirement divided by the uh, number of units in one batch that is 6160 right multiplied by the setup cost per run 
राइट सो नंबर ऑफ सेटअप्स 15.71 और 16 सेटअप्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 588 सो दे हैव कैलकुलेटेड इट दिस वे राइट सो यू कैन टेक इट इन द पॉइंट्स और यू कैन राउंड इट ऑफ राइट दैट इज व्हाट इंस्टीट्यूट हैव शोन टोटल कैरिंग कॉस्ट टोटल कैरिंग कॉस्ट इज द एवरेज इन्वेंट्री हाफ ऑफ 6160 दिस बिकम्स माय एवरेज इन्वेंट्री सर व्हाई एवरेज इन्वेंट्री बिकॉज द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेंट्री इज नॉट बींग कैरेड थ्रू आउट द ईयर राइट इट कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग so we take the average inventory multiplied by the carrying cost per unit per annum again be careful here if you will be careful here but not careful in the second part again you are bound to lose the marks right so you need to be careful at each and every stage now in case of 8800 uh, bearings right this is the number of setups multiplied by 588 6468 is the total cost and the carrying cost is 13200 so the total cost in case of ebq is something else why they are given sir slash two values because of the different setup cost right if you take 16 the setup cost will be different if you take it 15.71 the setup cost will be different right so there will be a slight difference no need to worry about it so the extra cost that means this cost minus this cost is the extra cost that the company will have to incur right so first step in this case the first step is to identify the number of setups number of setups right then uh, you need to find out the total setup cost total setup cost then you have to find out the carrying cost carrying cost carrying cost per unit per annum right then total carrying cost total carrying cost and what will be relevant relevant will be this one first and this is second so total cost will be 1 plus 2 total cost is equal to 1 plus 2 right so this is what you have to check in both the cases clear very simple question nothing to worry about it the only point here was the carrying cost which was given per month now this is uh, the only problematic area or the i can say the only area where you are expected to commit the mistake right so this is all about a very simple batch costing question which can come for 5 marks in the examination definitely they have been asking it and they can ask it multiple times so this is a 5 marks question that can be asked in the examination right so in the next lecture we'll move on to the next question that is on contract costing see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy keep studying keep sharing thank you so much